here we are, day two of the SPL box build for the Death Bounce 15. And now that we have three sides on, we've gone ahead and resined the inside of the box, as you've already seen. That just covers up any of the pores on the inside, makes it nice and airtight. Everything is baby, baby smooth. But now we can get our attention drawn into the port. We've cut eight sides at 22 and a half degrees, which makes a perfect 360 degree octagon. So we're gonna be doing some round overs, taking off the screws, um, because that was just to hold it together originally. And then I wood glued the shit out of it. Everything's all dry and really strong. Pulled up an extra amount over there. Everything's looking good. We got a glare on that 45 from the window. But you know, it's kinda, you know, it's, it looks kinda dimply, but if you run your hands over it, you can barely even feel these little grooves. You can just barely feel it and I actually went over it again uh, to make it even more smooth. The bracing uh, came out to be about 0.3 cubic feet. So after displacements, we're working with about 3.9 cubes. I also resined on the inside of this lip all around, baby, baby smooth. It's gonna match up perfectly with the side piece and this is where the port is gonna go in. The top piece comes on and sandwiches everything together. Basically all we gotta do is put a bottom piece like a little Mario pipe and a top piece to make sure that it has a little bit of a flare to it. Let's do it guys! <laughs> guys another little midway update and we have got the port done you've seen some of the pictures come along but this is what we're working with so far everything's gonna plug up right here into the side which we already have cut out perfectly for the size of this octagon uh, it's all flared out on both sides even though this is one and a half inches it's only it's not gonna add that full length because it has a flare to it it'll plug up right into there Ugh, I can't hold the camera still enough but that's how it's gonna work out, guys. And then I'm gonna do a shorter port uh, for an even higher tuning, but we're gonna start with this. Alright guys, been getting lots of videos done here. We got the side on, which is also the opening for our port. And she is nice and rounded over on that side. We got the glass all done and our port is ready to go and looking good. Here's what we're working with uh, right now. You put her down on this mark. I have it marked out which one where it goes over here, right there. It goes right here. Hell yeah, YouTube this. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove this right here, put the top piece on, and then that'll be uh, the point where we can actually put it in the trunk. There she is, all put together. Zero finishing work, so it's gonna look pretty ugly right now. 
uh, but we will be going around with a round over bit and sanding a few things so it will look a little bit better than this but for right now we can actually do some test fitting in the trunk we got a lot of stuff sitting in there right now but it will give us a little rough idea we took off the weather stripping right here so we don't do any damage to her on the slide in it's gonna be a two-part deal I forgot to say this is gonna go in and then this is gonna go in slightly after so let's go ahead and see how she works out All right, guys, we just slid the port in, and as you can see, she's all loose in here and very close to the corner of the boot. But there's three reasons for this. Number one, I didn't want a single bit of this port on the inside of the box. Number two, it was actually loudest with all my testing with my other box with the port faced towards this corner diagonally. So I'm playing along into that. And number three, space. This 15-inch box ended up being a little bit bigger than I thought it was for this particular trunk. So with this small ass trunk and a big box, obviously things are gonna be a little bit crammed. So we're gonna do some testing with this port. If we don't have great results, I'm gonna see what it's like with some of the port on the inside so we can get an extra six inches over here to do a little bit more pocket changing inside the trunk. Boy, was it a workout just getting it right here. Ah, death bounce 15 in all its glory. Let's go ahead and get this guy out of the way so we don't get her all dusty. And just clean up this little box just a little bit and put a single, you know, just a little round over on it. Who, who cares, you know, let's just do it. Okay, well there she is with a little round over and some sanding. Just a little rough thing just to get her looking a little bit better. Nothing crazy, you know, making her look beautiful or anything like that. Now that we got the box right here, we're going to go ahead and do the speaker terminals. And later on during the whole SPL process, we're going to do the difference between hardware and direct connection between amplifier and subwoofer. But for now, we're going to start off with doing nuts and bolts in the back of the box with the coils connected uh, to them. Well, it worked, you tubulus. The angle did just the trick, but my camera just died, so I was like right in the middle of getting my leg up there to boost it right back in the last little bit, and I heard the shutter shut. So I went ahead and picked up my cell phone, and this is where we are. Look at it, guys, fitting nice. So all I gotta do is just nudge her back in that way, and we can put the port in, and then we can get to figuring out where the frig the amplifier is gonna go. I got an Encore 4.5K, but dear lord, there's just so much shit going on. Oh, my back. But it's in there. It's in there. And it's a little harder to maneuver, that's for damn sure. But she's looking good. She's looking good. So now all we gotta do is get the port in there. And then figure out something that we gotta do for our amplifier. We got the port right here, ready to go in. So the box build is fucking looking good. We had some rain, so I had to put my camera away. But in the meantime... We've got everything wired up with the amplifier. I just gotta tuck the battery back in under there with that little soft stuff. But oh man, I fired her up guys. Barely even moving and she's getting real fucking loud. So right now we got a single run of eight gauge going in, uh, wired up in parallel at a 0.7 ohm load to the DB415. <laughs>
your tubulus. Some of the headliners falling off already. This shit's shredding apart. Holy crap. All right, guys, I just couldn't help myself. I went ahead and tore out all the loose panels and shit that we won't be needing since we're walling the car off anyways, just because I wanted to take care of some of that flexing going on and you know, maybe we can gain some SBL with having some more air uh, flowing through. And I'd say it's just about time to do some SPL testing down at that secret spot. We got the DB415 crammed inside this nice little octo box tuned to 45 hertz at the moment. And man, on the drive over, she was getting down. Every window is sealed and we're gonna do an on the dash test with the SSA APM1. Bam, and turn on the meter. Oh, my back is killing me. Oh, we got the suction cup coming off. So let's turn the meter on, turn the engine on, and we've already got a sweep queued up on our dash right here because everything's on a switch. So I have a 40 to 50 hertz sweep because I'm pretty sure that's where we're gonna be um, peaking at somewhere in between there. So it'll tell us the loudest note. Oh my God, get in there, you stupid key. Get in there. All right, fucking finally. Got the engine all started up and we're gonna let her chill around 800 RPMs. I'm not gonna really worry about revving it up too much. Let's go ahead and get our application queued up on the uh, cell phone here with the APM1 software. Make sure the meter is still on and stuck. The suction cups are a little, little dry, so she is still Still blinking, so let's go ahead and pair it up with our cell phone here. Um, I'm gonna control everything from the base knob, so the volume's all the way up on our head unit, but I'm gonna go about a little less than halfway, and then once we figure out what the loudest note is, we'll go ahead and crank it the rest of the way. So let's go ahead and turn on the amplifiers. I'm gonna go ahead and push, uh, push play. I'm guessing like maybe 46, maybe 47. So it looks like 46 is our number right there. All right, let's go to our negative five dB tones right here, 46 hertz. Test it one more time. Not bad, 148. We can still do some, some tuning on the amplifiers. Hey, hold on, I'm gonna keep the camera rolling. Let me. Let me, let me get in this seat, because sometimes when I sit my ass in the passenger seat, it can be fucking louder. And you know what, hold on. I'm just so, I'm gonna go to zero dB, just to, just to fucking be crazy. You know what I'm saying? Just because I haven't tuned this amplifier really correctly, so let's just see if we can get, ah, oh, 150. Let's just see if we can get a little more out of her. Ah, sorry. Everything's still, still blinking. I'm gonna pull, pull this down too, so sometimes that can help. Reset the track. Point nine, just sitting my little skinny ass right here. Hell yeah, you tubulous. So now let's take our screwdriver. We got some, we got our screwdriver in here and 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 tune the amplifier. I can't even speak right now. So uh, let's go back. Let's keep this live action. Let's keep this live action and just turn up the gains a little bit. All right. So as you can see, we are chilling with an open amp, our low pass and subsonic. Everything's just wide open. Let's see if we can just turn this up a little bit without scoping it. I'm just gonna do it like a quarter turn. My battery definitely died on this. Maybe let's try it again. Yep, she's dead. So let's close the door back up. Ugh, close the door. Everything's still on the dash. Blinking, connected here. So let's fucking, let's see what we got now that we tuned the Encore 4.5K. All right, here we go. Oh, hold on, we gotta reset the track again. These things are only 15 seconds long. Seven out of the fucking trunk. Hell yeah, guys. I am I am pumped about that. But hold on, hold on. There is more that we can do. I can bring this seat up. Hold on, let me scooch this seat up all the way. Scooch this seat up all the way. There are a couple tricks to the trade that you can do to get louder. And it's, now that I'm this close, I think we can get this 50, guys. Hold on, pull this seat up. Push this in right there. Angle this. 
And now it's just time to do the little things, guys. And you know what? I might even turn it on and go outside and push up and down on the trunk and see if that makes a difference. So let's see if this uh, increased. Let's go back to 46 hertz. Right here, 46 hertz. All right, let's see if that made a difference. We got this! We fucking got this! This is just literally, I could literally just fucking blow a snot wad up here and that might do it. <sighs> oh, we got this fucking 50. No, 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 this is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna do it again, I'm gonna do it again, and I'm gonna run outside, and I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lay down on, on, on the trunk, all right? So, let's do it. Fucking reset the track. 46, 46 hertz. Oh shit, I'm not even looking at it. 46 hertz. We only got, see how that, we only got that much time to do this. So I'm gonna crank the volume knob all the fucking way right now. This is gonna be a little dangerous, but here we go. Reset. All right, I think it's starting to go down. So, all right. Okay. That's not what I expected. We actually went down a little bit, huh? Uh, maybe it's because my body wasn't in the car. All right, I seriously thought that we would make it over the 50 with that, but um, hold on, what, what else can I do? What else can I do? Um, I'm gonna, let's open the trunk and see if we can reposition anything real quickly. Oh my God, look what I just did. There's really not too much we can do except for angle the port a little bit more so we can either push it back this way or pull it back towards this way. We got her repositioned and uh, I went ahead and put, pulled up the chairs just a tiniest bit more to create a little bit better of a pocket in here. It's gonna be one hell of a cramped space once I get my body in the passenger side seat because it's definitely louder uh, back there. But also, I went ahead and cranked up the gains just a little bit more even though my scope battery died. Let's go ahead and try it on for size. I can barely even get my body in here. Look at this, I am so crammed in this right now. So let's shut her up, all sealed up. Oh, we gotta shut it better than that. Shut it up, just like that. We are at 46 hertz as usual. Volume is all the way up, and we are gonna try it one more time here. Give her a little bit of RPMs, just a, just a little bit. Let's reset the track. What can I do? What can I fucking do? Damn, I thought that would definitely do it, but I guess that extra few hundreds really didn't make a difference, so maybe if I pull this back, hold on, that's, let me push these back. The seat back, let me push that back a little bit more. Ugh. All right, let's try that, let's do it one more time here. 46 hertz. sound like such an idiot when I get excited. It's my first fucking 150 out of the trunk. Even though it looks like shit, it's fucking loud. Oh no, no! I didn't get the screenshot it, son of a bitch. To tell you the truth, that's really what I wanted out of this box was a 150. And even though we didn't get it right out of the gate, we got it on the first day. All we needed to do was retune the amplifiers, you know, move a couple things around a little bit, move the box around a little bit, tilted it just a, a few different ways, and we fucking got it, guys. I am so fucking happy right now. You have no idea. Uh, let's go back and just and, and say hello to the DB4. 15. Look at it. Just look at it. Let's see how she's out. Oh yeah, she's a little warm. It, even my battery has moved from all the flexing. So, um, it sounds good on music and it fucking definitely gets loud on burps. So fuck guys, I, I probably sound a little obnoxious and my voice is probably going up several octaves, but that's what happens when I get fucking excited, guys. It is a 150 on the fucking dot. So I'm gonna see if I can back it up for a screenshot, and uh, even though it really took a lot of finagling to get that motherfucking 150, um, and I guarantee if I didn't take out all that stuff, we wouldn't have been there, guys. So I'm glad I took out all the panels because that shit was just going crazy, especially the other day when I was just driving the damn thing. Oh, fuck. So 
I guess this video is going on a little longer than it should, huh? But I am very, very happy with the results of it. Having a great time fucking getting loud. So let's do a little bit more fun with her. We're definitely not done uh, playing with the death bounce. So let's look forward to a couple more demo videos and maybe we can even get a little bit louder. Ha ha! <laughs> Well, I think that'll just about wrap it up for the video this time, YouTubulous. I know it was one heck of a long one, but hell, we had a lot to do, and I'm definitely glad we went with the Octoport goodness for our DB415. Everything worked out real well, and actually, on my way home, down the highway, I actually gained another 0.1 dB on the meter. Same frequency, I just had the engine going about 2,500 RPM. So, always good time hanging out, doing some basing. So, until the next video, guys, what the frig was that? <laughs> until the next video, guys, this is EXO, just getting this house sitting over with, almost heading down to SBN. All right, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. <laughs>